Today, I am going to be making a rosemary standard. The other day, I transplanted all the aloe out of this pot. And today, I was want to take my rosemary plant that has been needing, that's been needed to be transplanted and I was reading up on rosemary and they said the taller the plant the deeper the pot that you need and this pot is not as deep as as I, I believe it should be so I want to transplant the rosemary over to the the terracotta pot and as I was um, I've had rosemary standards in the past and um, last year um, in August, we went to the Doug and Stacy Homesteading Life Conference. My husband bought me this uh, rosemary plant. And it. I've been looking for a single rosemary plant. Most of the time, if, if you pay attention, if you go to a nursery and you go to buy your rosemary, it's already been pruned and it's bushed out. And I guess I can see their reasoning. I mean, they sell it that way because it looks like a bigger, fuller plant. When I bought this, this was like a straggly little stem, only about that tall, about half the size, when I bought it, and it didn't look very impressive at all, and so, but I was excited to find it, because you can't find just a straight stalk of rosemary at a nursery usually. So, and to make a rosemary standard is where you take a herb or a plant, and you trim all the leaves off. You trim it all the way, all this off here, and then you prune up here, and then it forms a tree-like shape. And it can be done with lots of different plants. It can be done with lavender. It can be done with rosemary. It can be done, I've even seen it done with begonias. It's usually a plant that gets a, a woody stalk on it. And um, so I was really, really excited to get this plant. So, and really excited to be able to turn it into a standard. I had a standard a long time ago and uh, it died. There was a, My life was uh, crazy and I didn't take care of it at that time and I wanted another one for the longest time. So, so I'm going to go over some tips on how to transplant it and to turn it into a standard. what I did. I transplanted it. I put rocks at the bottom. That's um, very important with rosemary. And also with aloe. I, could, I should have put some rocks at the bottom of the aloe things, but since I figured I'd probably transplant them again into bigger pots eventually, I, I didn't really think about getting some gravel for them. But um, this plant, if rosemary, if its roots stay in water, they don't have good drainage, they can rot, and they will rot. Um, in fact, that's what was starting to happen to this. I had left it out on outside, and this pot has a tray that goes underneath of it, and it, from all the rainstorms, la rainstorms last year, the water was laying in the dish under... Um, underneath this and this plant was sucking it all up and it was actually starting to rot. It was All the leaves were starting to die down here and luckily I brought it in the house and started um, caring for it in the house so that the rain didn't get to it anymore. So I'm going to loosen these roots. Oh this is great. I let it dry out, um, in fact I always let it dry out. I always dry my uh, rosemary plant out before I rewater it. Um, I like to do it, I, I like to just brush the surface dirt uh, away and put my finger down as deep as I can and see if it's moist down there and then I'll water it if it's dry enough. Because um, overwatering is the quickest way to kill your rosemary plant. 
and also the aloe vera that I transplanted. It's the quickest way to kill your plant is to over water it. Okay. So we've got him, this one nice and loose. Now another thing that um, rosemary really needs, in between the watering, a lot of people say water your rosemary every two weeks around that time. I really just go, because um, every plant, it depends on what condition it had. I remember for a while I had it in the sun here, and it was drying out way quicker than every two weeks. And so I could see these new growth starting to droop a little bit, and then I would water it, and it would perk right back up again. So you got to really just keep an eye on it. Sometimes it needs watered sooner. There we go. Now it's in a new pot. Now another thing that um, Rosemary really, they don't, I mean this one has been surviving without it. Um, I had forgotten about, when I was looking up information the other day, I remembered, I read an article about misting your rosemary. And it's, uh, so in between the watering, you missed it. And I used to do that, but I had forgotten about it. And then when I read the article, I'm like, oh yeah, I should have been doing that. I missed that one. And I'm going to also water it. I'm going to do both today, because... Transplanting any plant usually gives a little bit of a shock anyway, so. Now, it is all your preference on how you trim a standard. Now some standards, they, this right here would be enough of a stock to make someone happy. And then you would just trim this off right here. And then see how these branches are already starting to grow up? They would all start branching out branching out and the more you trim it like for cooking you trim off what you need for cooking and it would just bush back out even more so I wanted a little higher myself that's why I waited so long to turn it into a standard I wanted it that's another thing you want to let the rosemary grow as tall as you as big as you want your standard to be so eventually it's not going to stay in this pot for a real, real long time. I want my standard to get like a big tree. So I'm going to only trim off that much today. And I'll probably, it's a shame, but uh, these beautiful new branches, they'll probably have to go too because I want this the, it to actually look more like a tree. I want it to come up a little bit higher and then it bush out up here. So, but that's how you make a standard. It's very, very simple. Now you don't have to transplant your rosemary before you make a standard. Um, it's actually probably, uh, I, I don't know if it makes a big difference because you're going to have a little bit of shock going on either way. But, um, but I wanted to because I, w I wanted to get it in, into a deeper pot. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is also important, always either pinch with your nails if it's a tender branch or clip it with scissors if you try to rip it and it rips it all the way down the stem and takes all the bark off it actually can actually harm the plant it could all possibly if you do it bad enough it could kill it so you want to be very careful you want to trim with scissors Not even the tiny ones left. You want it completely fair to up to the point where you want it to start turning into a stand.
think. And then also, you can always trim up higher. I mean, you can um, you can never really go back. You can never really go back. Pinch my finger. Um, but you can um, always trim up higher if you think it's not high enough. So it's always better to be cautious. Now it's time to prune the top. Now that we've gotten it up to the point where we want the stock to start. This is our stock and it's gonna turn into a tree. This is gonna be an herb tree. Um, so this is, now I prune the top and then now what's gonna happen is over time, these are all gonna put a new growth in here and it's gonna start sprouting up branches and then it's gonna look like a tree. So, I like starting up high. Now it's cut. I like starting up high because, maybe I come down just a little bit more. Because I can always trim it lower later if I don't like the height of it. So, now it's gonna be a standard. And I, I think I wanna do some updates every so often for you. So you can see it's starting to branch out, starting to look like a standard. I might even come up a little bit higher if I choose to, but I probably won't. Uh, it all just depends on how it starts to look. And it is as simple as that. Popping it out, trimming up the branches as high as you want it. But the trick is you have to get a single stalk rosemary. Now, you can take these and make, um, start a new, uh, rosemary plant from it, and then that would be your stock, and then you can start from there, but you'd have to let it grow up into the height that you would need it. So there we go. We have a standard now, and it's just going to take some time for it to turn into a tree, and I'm very excited. I've been wanting to start a, a rosemary standard for a long time so my husband blessed me with it um, I'm very excited um, another plant I'd like to get eventually is um, a bay tree I used to have a bay tree and bay trees are really nice to have whenever you're making soup or anything that calls for a bay leaf uh, you just go and you trim off a leaf and it's uh, it's a better flavor than the dried bay leaves it's got a nice, nicer flavor. And so uh, that's my next plan I'd like to get eventually someday. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, I hope that you like it and subscribe and click the little bell. Thank you.